On everybody and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Ali and today we're going to go through every rating between 72 and 294 and get the best player in my opinion, in the chat's opinion, we did this on Twitch, from every single rating. So let's just go ahead and get into it guys. If you want to see more FIFA 20 Ultimate Team content, make sure to check out uh, the rest of the videos that I've uploaded so far and hit that sub button for everything I upload in the future All right, so we're gonna be using foothead here to build this squad and it's not essentially gonna be a squad It just works out really well because there's 23 players that we need and there's 23 spots on here So we're gonna start down on the bench and we're gonna add the first guy which is 72 rated and that's gonna be Daniel James. And we're gonna talk about each card individually real quick. Starting off 72, it's pretty simple. He's 72 rated, he's Manchester United, and he's got 94 pace. And that's a, not even the highest rated of silver cards. And then on top of that, he's got 73 dribbling. And yes, when you have a card that's 72 rated, you're gonna have some stats that aren't really up to par. And that's the 61 shooting and the 57 physical. But in terms of 72 ratings go, that's pretty good. Next up, we've got the 73 rated card, and we've got Ninja. He's got 91 pace, 70 dribbling, 73 shooting, and 78 physical. On top of the fact that he's also got four star, four star, this card is very, very nice. Next up, we're gonna go with the 74 rated card, and that's gonna be Zhao Victor. He's a Wolfsburg player here. And uh, on top of that, he's got 88 pace, 74 dribbling, 73 shooting, and 66 passing. Overall, nothing crazy on that card, but he does actually have, um, and we can look at their individual stats as well, he does actually have five-star weak foot, guys, which means that he can use right, he can use left, and he's still going to have the 73 shooting, the 74 dribbling, um, the 66 passing, which isn't really that great. But he's also got four-star skill moves. That definitely looks like a gold card to me, but he is silver. He is 74 rated, and that's why we've gone with him there. And just because we can, we can go ahead and look at some of the uh, ratings for uh, Ninja and uh, James, if they actually uh, popped up. There we go. Daniel James, he's only got a three-star skills, but he does have four-star weak foot. And you're going to need it because if you're taking a weak foot shot and he's only got 61 shooting, that is very unlikely to go in. That is that is very, very unlikely to go in. And it won't pull up Ninja's uh, stats, but he does, I believe, have four-star, four-star. Let's go ahead and move on to the gold-rated players. Let me check my list real quick and see what we've got here. And at 75 rated, we we're going with Renato Sanchez, guys. Renato Sanchez, it was a tough call. And I'm going to show you who I wanted to put there, but the chat kind of vetoed me and said, Renato Sanchez is the best 75 rated card. I don't know. I don't know 100% if he is because I really like this fullback I'm about to show you. But Renato Sanchez is now at Lille in the French League. He's got 76 pace, 77 dribbling, 72 shooting, and 82 physical, and 70 defense. Overall, he's got really good in-game stats um, as well because you look at the physicality and it says 82, but he's got 90 aggression and 86 stamina. He's got 90 balance, which is really, really good uh, and important. I think agility and balance are the two most important dribbling stats. And then he's just got some average stats all the way across. All stats 69 and above. That's pretty nice. And then we'll move on to the 76 rated player. But before we do that, I want to show you the guy that I was actually thinking about putting here at 75 rated. I thought Bufferini was decent. For a fullback at 75 rated, he's got 87 pace. He's got 81 physical and he's got 69 defense with 73 dribbling. That is so much better than what a 75 rated card should have. On top of that, he's got 92 stamina and 87 aggression. And he's not a bad card at all, all around. Like his lowest stat is 62 and that's on shooting. I think that's a really, really solid card. It's not going to make the squad builder team, but I thought that at least kind of deserved a mention in this team. At 76 rated, guys, we went with in Dia, and this was a tough one, and we kind of decided that it was in Dia because of just strictly stats. Now, if you consider when uh, consider what league they're in and who they can link to, yes, it can be a better card, which is why we didn't actually go with Tierney. And I thought Tierney was going to be the best 76 for sure, 
but when it comes down to it, NDIA actually has the better stats, and if we're not considering who he links to, which is not very many people, given the fact that he's not in the Prem, and he's from Senegal, there's not too many players you can link it with. You can obviously link it up with Koulibaly from Senegal, but ultimately there's not too many other options. Maybe Adrissa Ganagay, um, and that's even if Adrissa Ganagay is from Senegal. Is he from Senegal, or is he from Ghana? I'm pretty sure he's actually from Ghana, so he wouldn't even link up there either. Nonetheless, he's got 85 pace and 80 physicality and not a single stat below 71, and that's for shooting. And that is a ridiculously good 76 rated card. I mean, you could expect to see like 82 rated cards look like this. Uh, and I, I imagine there's 82 rated center mids that are worse than this NDIA. I would not doubt it whatsoever. And that's why we went with him at 76 rated. Next up, we've got Achim Pong. And this was a tough call as well. These are some of the tougher ratings to decide. And it's obviously subjective. You know, Achim Pong might be my best 77 rated player. But maybe Mbabu, the right back from Switzerland, is your best 77 rated player. Which I'll show you that card as well. But Achim Pong, like, he just looks too good right now. I mean, for a 77 rated card, he's got 94 pace, 79 dribbling. 76 shooting 75 physical and he's got four star skill moves that card is ridiculous and on top of that he's got 91 stamina and when it comes to dribbling he's got the stats that are needed agility and balance this card is going to be so good if you're building a chinese starter team he's got to be your striker no doubt about it he's going to be cheap because he's 77 rated he doesn't link well but when it comes down to it he is super good and even if you can't fit him in your team i'm probably going to use that as a super sub so that's why i went with ah chem pong there and babu deserves a mention at least he's got 91 pace and 82 physicality with 72 defense 73 dribbling at a 77 rated right back from wolfsburg and he also really links well because you can link him on a strong link to a kanji and a strong link to zachariah to make a nice little swiss bundesliga triangle there so i think he deserves a mention as well just a very very good card so moving on to the 78 rated player and we've got a couple of different choices here as well we went with Anya Kuru. Anya Kuru is, it's a tough call between him and Dumfries because Anya Kuru, he gets great links to players like Ben Yedder and uh, Monaco have uh, just several different good uh, players. And Anya Kuru is one of them. 90 pace with 81 dribbling and 74 shooting at a 78 rated card. And again, his agility is insane. And he's got four star, four star. He can jump, but his strength is terrible. His strength is super bad. So he's fast and he can dribble. And in terms of a 78 rated card, that's pretty good shooting as well. So he definitely is one of the better 78 rated cards. But another mention that's deserved is uh, is definitely going to be the, the Dumfries card. Dumfries was a very um, commonly used card in FIFA 19. Dumfries here has 80 pace, 87 physical, 76 defense, 71 dribbling. I mean, that's a really good right back for 78 rating. Nonetheless, guys, we're going to move on to the 79 rated card. And the player we went with here is Yannick Kessi. Kessie is a very well-rounded card with one standout stat, which is 88 physicality. If you look at that, a ton of different uh, in-game stats that are really high in his physical. He's got 95 stamina. That's making you the entire game, no doubt. So if stamina is a big factor in FIFA, 9, uh, FIFA 20 like it was in FIFA 19, which I think it will be, that's going to be absolutely crucial. On top of the fact that it links... Um, with other Ivory Coast players like the Bamman from Everton and Nicolas Pepe from Arsenal uh, gets those weak links there, which which are also very usable cards. Um, he's got a four-star weak foot. He's got 86 aggression, 87 strength. His defensive stat is not bad. And then all the other stats are decent. You know, he's well-rounded, 72 plus on every stat with that physicality as well. Very, very nice card. So that's what we went with at 79 rated. Next up, We've got the 80 rated card. And who do we go with here? We went with Joe Gomez. Again, there's a lot of choices to go with at, at 80 rating, but I think Joe Gomez edges it out. He's got 81 pace, 79 defense, and 76 physicality at center back. It's very fast for a center back, and he gets great links. He's definitely going to be in a lot of starter, starter squads. Deserved his spot for the best 80 rated card in the game. Moving on next. 
Man, I, I'm telling you guys, I don't gain this many subscribers normally when I'm recording a video. It's because I'm live. My Twitch chat's trying to make me look good. So they've been subbing uh, on their on their side accounts probably over there. Uh, Sissoko is going to be our best 81 rated card. Sissoko, I don't think there's really any competition here. There's no debate. Obviously, there's some other good 81s. But this Sissoko card is an absolute animal. I mean, look at this card. On top of the fact that it just gets the most brilliant links in the game, a hyperlink with Indombele, it gets strong links with all the uh, Spurs players, which are there's a lot of good Spurs players this year in FIFA, and he's French. It's the, it's the perfect links. And on top of that, he's got 89 physicality with 91 stamina, 90 strength, and 85 aggression. He's got a pretty good defensive stat. He's got 80 pace with a very high sprint speed of 85, not as much acceleration. And that's due to his low agility and balance, which is kind of the weak spot in this card is the agility and balance. But I guess uh, somewhat the dribbling stat, somewhat the dribbling stat kind of makes up for it there with 84 dribbling. But you're definitely going to need a chem style that adds to the agility and balance. But nonetheless, no doubt, best 81 rated card in the game. 82 rated Thomas Delaney is what we went with here. Thomas Delaney from Dortmund. And he might not be the last Dorman player we go with in this team. Delaney, though, he's got such good, well-rounded stats on top of the fact that he's just got the stats in the right areas as well when it comes to in-game stats. 90 stamina. He's also not like a small center, maybe. He's six foot, so it's not small. It's not tall, but it's also not small. He's got a high, high work rate, um, and he's got 90 stamina, so he'll make it all game. He's got 84 aggression, 91 jumping. And since he's not small and he can jump, I mean, he's going to be winning headers for you in the midfield. You got to consider there's a lot of center attacking mids in the game that are much smaller than six foot. So he's probably going to be winning the headers over top of them. He's got really good defensive stats, including an 88 slide tackle and 85 interceptions. And then all, all again, like similar to Yannick Kessie, he's got the stats and the uh, just well-rounded stats with pace, shooting, passing, dribbling. And he's definitely not slow either. 77 pace. Not slow at all. So that's why we went with him as the best 82 rated card. And before we get into, I guess, the starting 11 or the uh, top rated players from 84 and above, we're going to go with the 83 rated cards. And there wasn't much debate about this one either. I looked at a lot of the different cards, but I think Rashford for sure is the best 83 rated card. And we can't actually look at the in game stats, can we? Because it's a little glitched out. You can see how it's like popping up and uh, not actually letting me open the page. But you can just tell by the uh, by the base stats. He's got 92 pace, 83 dribbling, 82 shooting, 77 physical, 73 passing. It's a good card. It's a very good card, very usable card. Got to be an expensive card as well. And we're definitely, as we get into these higher ratings, there's, they're going to get more and more expensive. All right, so we're starting it off. Uh, we'll start it at the bottom and work our way up. For the 84 rated card, we went with Kyle Walker. This one was, again... It was a tough one, but Kyle Walker is going to be such a usable card for a while in FIFA. He always is just that card that, that everybody wants as their right back to start in the Premier League. And there are other options this year, like Jao Cancelo, Hector Bellerin, but there uh, also you, you've got that Lester Pereira as well, and... Um, and Trent Alexander-Arnold, but you get the point. Kyle Walker is, is a good, good right back. He's got no flaws on his card, really, because he's got 91 pace, which is definitely fast enough. He's got 81 driven, uh, defense, which is pretty high for a fullback, and 81 physicality, which is also pretty high for a fullback. And he's pretty tall for a fullback as well, which is always important in FIFA. You kind of want to look for those guys like Kyle Walker or, or Danny DaCosta at right back because they'll win those headers on the, on the, on the back post while Trent Alexander-Arnold might not. Moving on to the 85 rated cards, there's a couple different choices here, and they're so close together that I can't really choose one. So I let my chat decide, and they chose Varon. Don't kill me, all right? Varon was the, the, the choice of the chat. 83 pace, 85 defense, 80 physical. You can't deny that's an amazing card, but you also got guys like Axel Witzel, who was, who was close to winning that vote. He's got 73 pace, 80 dribbling, 74 shooting, 83 defense, 80 passing, 81 physical, and he's got four star, four star. And I'm a Dortmund fan, so I kind of want to put Witzel in this team. But we're going to stick with Varane. But that's not the only other one. We've got Gareth Bale, who also needs at least a mention for 85 rated cards. Gareth Bale's got 91 pace, 82 dribbling, 87 shooting, 82 passing, and 76 physicality. So we've kind of got all different parts of the field. 
Veron's the best defender, Witzel's the best midfielder, and Bale is the best uh, attacker. So you can kind of put any of them in here. We're going to go ahead and stick with Veron, I guess, as this card because Veron... I guess it will be used quite a bit in FIFA, a lot longer than cards like Witzel and Bale will uh, without an upgrade. I think Varane will be longer term used in the game, I guess, with his base card. 86 rated was hard because there aren't that many good players. Like, here's the thing, Varane, Witzel, and Bale would probably win if they were 86 rated. But we went with Leroy Sané, and I wasn't really happy about it because... Like, there wasn't much competition with his card. There's a lot of center backs, but they're not very fast, like Benucci. Uh, he's got good defense, I guess. But, yeah, we went with Sané pretty much just because he's really fast. Um, 95 pace, one of the fastest players in the game. 86 dribbling ain't bad. 81 shooting is not bad. He only has three-star weak foot, but given the fact that there wasn't much competition with that 86 rated, there, there really aren't that many good 86 rated this year. something I noticed when looking for that. Next up, though, we've definitely got some good 87 rated, and I don't think anybody's arguing about this one. Young Min's son is going to be our best 87 rated card in FIFA 20. Sonaldo is just insane. I mean, I remember when he got an 84 rated card in Player of the Month in FIFA 17. That uh, by itself was already good enough. That by itself was insane. One of the best cards. And now he's starting at 87 rated, which means that if he gets three upgrades, he's 90 rated, and that's just not fair. 88 pace, 86 shooting, 87 dribbling, 80 passing, 5-star weak foot, 4-star skill moves. Ridiculously good card right there. Next up, we've got Pogba at 88 rated. He's not the only one that we got to mention here because I, I kind of wanted to go with uh, Sadio Mane. And when you look at the stats individually, Sadio Mane kind of edges it out, but you also got to consider he's a winger. And Pogba is a center mid that can really play anywhere in the midfield, whether it comes CDM, center mid, center attacking mid, and if you're really feeling it, center forward maybe. But we've got Pogba here. He's got some pretty good in-game stats as well. The biggest issue with his card is the 66 balance. The physicality definitely isn't an issue with 89 strength. And when you have 89 strength on a guy with five-star skills, I mean, you've got to be a little bit worried when you're playing against him. And on top of that, he's got four-star weak foot. It's not like he's slow. 74 pace is not slow, but it's definitely not quick. He can shoot the ball. He can pass. He can dribble. But I would just give him a little bit of agility and balance because he is six foot three in the midfield, which is another thing. He can jump as well and win those headers in the midfield. So that's why we went with Pogba as the best 88 rated card in the game. The best 89 rated card is Mbappe. And we're getting to the point where there's not too many choices when you get to these ratings because there's a lot of choices when you're down at like 78 rated. There's so many different players you can go with. When you get to 89 rated, there's only a handful of players that you can choose from. And I think Mbappe wins this one by a landslide. 96 pace, 90 dribble, 84 shooting, 78 passing, and 75 physicality. It doesn't stop there, though. He's got five-star skill moves and four-star weak foot with 84 stamina. And as a striker, that's going to make you the entire game. No issues at all. His dribbling is absolutely insane. He can shoot the ball well. His composure is decent. He's got 989 finishing. And then, again... I believe that's the fastest player in the game. So there's really not, not a flaw to the Kylian Mbappe card. Moving on to the 90 rating. It was really only between two players because I'm not trying to include goalkeepers in this video. It was between Van Dyke or Sala. And given how good Van Dyke was in FIFA 19 as an 85 rated card, as an 88 rated card, now he's 90 rated. He's definitely going to be the best 90 rated card in the game. That is an insane card as well if you look at the stats. 77 pace isn't the fastest center back in the game. You've got Rafael Varane, obviously, down here with 83 pace. You've got Kostas Manolas with, like, 82 pace. Joe Gomez, who we used earlier with, like, 80 pace. And then there's a Russian guy with, like, 82 pace as well. Van Dyke, though, is one of the faster center backs. On top of the fact that he's got 90 defense and 86 physicality, he's, like, six foot four, and he's got pretty decent distribution skills for a center back as well. At 91 rated, we've gone with Kevin De Bruyne, which is, like, the last choice we had to make and it was a tough one, too, because it was either Kevin De Bruyne or Eden Hazard. And if you look at the stats, again, Eden Hazard kind of edges it out when it comes to st statistics because of the pace. And a lot of the other stats were kind of similar. Like De Bruyne had like six more passing and then Hazard had like six more dribbling. And then De Bruyne had a little more physical, but then Hazard had a lot more pace. De Bruyne had a five-star weak foot and then... Eden Hazard had four star, four star. We went with De Bruyne. That was the vote in the chat. It was very close. But De Bruyne won the best 91 rated card. 
And he's also like, is, there's no flaws to that card either. I mean, maybe a little slow, but if you look at the end game stats, I mean, he's got he's got just perfect stats. 89 stamina. That's making you the whole game. We love to see it. Uh, 91 reactions, 91 ball control, 86 drilling, and 91 composure. Slap him a little bit of a chemistry foul to help the agility and balance, even though high 70s is still not bad. He's got unbelievable passing, and I think 92 might be still underrated. And then he can he can rip a long shot as well. The worst stat comes from penalties, and obviously penalties aren't that important for a card. The good stats, like the ones that matter, are up here. The ones that really matter are up there, and those are the ones that he's, he's got good stats in. So, De Bruyne is the best 91 rated card. And we'll finish the video quickly, not waste your time. You know who the last couple players are. There's no other choices. You've got Neymar for left wing, and then up top, we've got Cristiano Ronaldo as the best 93 rated card, and then Lionel Messi as the best 94 rated card. And I'm glad that EA made them different ratings this year. That way, I didn't have to choose between uh, Ronaldo or Messi because I know I would have probably gotten a ton of dislikes no matter if I chose Messi or if I chose Ronaldo there is going to be people angry so I didn't have to I could put both of them in this video nonetheless guys thank you so much for watching the video make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new and I will see you in the next one peace out